Okay, that looks like a real healthy survival thing. It, uh, taking a lot just in case I have to fight a bear. Oh, I don't want to do it all at night time though. Oh, look how much slower the temperature temperature goes now. Okay, we're just gonna go and find food until morning. Okay, we'll have like a really Pathfinder tool. Creep find C cluster. Oh, what? We used all of that. Plus holographic pathfinder used to map a way back out of caves. Oh, that's sort of cute. Wow, that'd actually be really helpful uh, when we were exploring all of those zones. What's my inv looking like? Silver. Don't care about that. I think I'd rather take food. Seeing as I'm just killing time uh, until morning, I might actually go and get another another guy. The the seed cluster. Now keep an eye out for the red red glowies. There they are. Actually, we, we don't need that many. We've got lube. Oh, they give you air. Oh. What? Oh. Gift. I bring you rock. Thank you. I go to my people now. Okay. Uh, maybe not an asshole. I feel like they do move towards you. I'm not sure if I'm just being like super, super paranoid. I don't know if they grab. There's a bit of me that wants to just get it out of the way and like feed myself into one. So I know what to expect. Like, you know, stop being so scared and just like get it over with. You know, like in horror games, it's all like spooky until you get caught a couple of times on the same bit and then, you know, it's not tense. You're just like, ugh, okay. The alien got me again. Good job, alien. Um, like a lot of the tension goes out. Gift from a sea monkey. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. Oh. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. Wow. I think even I was a bit nicer than that. But I'll make that Pathfinder tool. I'm not honestly not sure how much we would realistically use it. I'm kind of more of a wing it sort of boy. To mark your route and aid navigation in both terrestrial and aquatic environments. Okay, we're pretty like pretty well equipped. We're good for the cold. That goes down much slower now. What is this? Like a chip slot? Okay, on the road again. This time bridge, which is up here. So I don't know what we're looking for in this area is very cold. Is... Oh. To the oh. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. Oh. Okay. The Shire Halud. Everyone was scared of the Shire Halud. So... We have to as well. Hmm. Okay, well that's not northeast. Uh oh, it's like trees. Christmas trees. Okay, northeast. Are you, you a bear? Are you a tree? You're a tree. Okay, I'm fine with trees. A lot of trees. What was that? What was that noise? Is that my ship? Is that the trees? Is there a way out up here? Oh! Alien tech. Architect cabling. Right, it's not the first time we've ever tried to scan it. God, we've seen so much of that around. This. Ooh. This all seems fine. Do you want to be scanned as well? More cables? We're fine. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tense. You know, not gonna lie. I'm expecting something to, like, burst out of the ground. Oh god, okay, right, they're just icicles. Oh, oh, oh. what is that? Oh, jeez! That's a... Big 
Wow, that is a big worm. Can I go? Legally, am I allowed to leave? Where is he? Okay. Oh shit, he's gone on the ground. Uh. Okay. Oh fork. Yeah, run, bird, run. <laughs> the worm. Ooh. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's poking. Oh, he poked me. Sir. What the hell? Yo, dude, you're gonna attract the guy. I don't like that it makes me like fall off my bike. That's less fun. I feel like I could just outrun it. That's where I came from. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh my god! It jumped. Okay, it's not actually hit us yet. Okay, hopefully it can't get us <laughs> underground. Oh, it definitely can. Where are you? Okay, I can see why everyone was like a little bit uh, spooky scared of of the bad the bad man. Okay. Aliens. Oh, I didn't bring my energon cube, did I? Ah! <laughs> I knew we should have brought one. Ooh, snacks. Battery, please give me an energon cube. Oh, don't punish me for being a fool. Ali up. <laughs> okay, there's snow and alien stuff. But ah, oh, music. Take the drive. Oh man, I wish I had an Energon cube. I th I think the thing it looked a bit like a teleporter. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, there's like a way in and out here. There were teleporters in the previous Subnautica. Oh shit, wait, where am I? Let's have like a little look. I'm not wearing my rebreather. I think I left that at home. I don't want to go too deep. Oh man, maybe having the pathing tool would have made sense. Oh no, it's not like super. Super long. Okay, we're getting close to your boy. This is the hole that they're talking about. I'm worried this is where, like, the worms live. Uh-oh. Laser cut. I did bring you. Man, because I am good at games. Uh, okay, we can get our Energon Cube, which is perfect. Um, I can dump some of the stuff that I've got on me. Please cut this faster. Like, how, how hard is it to cut ice? You've got a laser. Do you remember that Bond film where they had the giant laser and they cut the ice? God, which one was that? Die another day? Maybe? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of satisfying. Uh, ooh, it's copper. I see. Wait, while I'm here, why not? Okay, well that's a nice, nice little feature. You can go in there. Do I need anything else? Probably not, that's maybe too many first aid kits. But I, I don't know, we're fighting worms now. Although the worm can't catch me, you know? I'm pretty speedy. Energon cube. Oh, man, I'm so pleased. You know, we didn't take it with us, eh, but we kind of took it with us. Okay, cool, we found like a secret way into like worm territory. The worm zone. Can you kill the worm? God, you've got to be able to, surely. Oh, we need to uh, find the stasis gun. 
Like, it'll get the plants. I've not seen it yet. Do we have, like, wasn't it, can you make, like, a stasis grenade or something? I vaguely remember. I'll get out of the water and then we'll work out. How do you freeze it? Because it's a lot easier fighting an animal when it can't fight back. You know, I'm not saying that's the noble way to do it, but I'm just saying for simplicity. That's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty effective. Oh. Okay, we're going up. Perfect. So yeah, that was a fun little uh, little adventure down in the hole. I hope that tech is cheap to make because I feel like you know you you need like three three flights of stairs tops to get up get up there. Bonk. Okay. Is this because we're currently in the south east of the map, maybe? Uh, I'm just trying to like orient myself. Southeast, southwest. One of <laughs> one of them two. I'm just thinking of like where. Oh, five mesh, sure. Oh. Wait, are we in the fee labs? So my bike 900 meters away. Hmm, okay. Like, I thought we'd be, we'd have, we'd have been catapulted like 3,000 meters away. How do I get in there? Is that for, uh, ping, pingling? My robo, robo buddy. Oh, I might need the propulsion gun. Oh, uh, that makes sense. I never built that. I don't think we've even got the full materials to use it. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Alan would have spoken to me if this was where uh, the Grand Adventure was taking us today. He would have been like, Well done. Our people used to use this to travel great distances. You walk on your legs like a fool. That seems very inefficient to me. Like, and then we'd be all sassy back. Shut up, Alan. You're not my dad. Uh, and that's... Boom. There you go. That's a free bit of uh, extra dialogue you can use. Uh, Subnautica. Hmm. Nighttime. Spookier. Uh, we may as well repair, because... Bike be hurting. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. He's here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Uh, where are you? Okay, something's lit up over there, so that's probably a good sign. How much did you get hurt? Wow, you got hurt so badly in that. I need to go wake up some of the bears. Get them to, like, take some of the heat for me. Uh, is there, like, a way around and do, like, a jump? There's ladders. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the idea, but I'm going to try and get up there. God, like, we are just chonking into everything. If he is detecting our movement by... Stop. I'm not even going to look. Uh. Oh, there he is. Oh. Uh. It's a bit like, um, the, like, re rem Remores, Remores, uh, Remore? Is that it? There's, like, a D&D &D monster. I remember it in, like, the 3.5, uh, edition monster manual. Um, there's a really cool picture of it, like, chasing, like, a barbarian in the snow. It's like a big, um, like a big, uh, bug. Bug man. Like an ice bug man. Do you remember those? Maybe not. Uh. That looks like a promising way up, assuming uh, Ramirez doesn't get me. Uh, that's not what it's called. Data, data patterns are so strong here. There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Cool. Uh, yeah, I kind of sussed it out, being like the smart person. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about my legs. 
Human legs break so easily. Did you mean to do that? No, Alan. <gasps> Clearly I didn't. What have you got for me? First aid. Fiber mesh. Oh god, they're giving me a lot of first aid kits. New technology acquired. Uh, ice worm attack reduction module. God, could have done with that uh, a little bit earlier. That's going to be made in my modification station. Probably super cheap. Ooh. Like ore veins. For mm, Pisto to drill. Where are you? Oh, we might need to go back and get the bike. God, this area looks a bit big and open for just going on foot. Okay. Okay, there was a little rumble, and that made me scared. Uh, yeah. That was just like a nice little, uh, pit stop. Let's go and find our bike. It was just like... God. That's really fast! Oh! Please, no poke. You wanna go? I've got like a little glowing blade as well. Oh, I'm coming for you. Eh, okay, I'm worried because blood didn't come out. Oh! Okay, blood isn't coming out. Okay, and if it doesn't bleed, uh, then it might mean that we can't kill it. As the old saying goes. Yeah, was it this way? I think so. Oh, God. Wow. God, that does so much damage. Please, no bite. Oh! Ow. Bud. Ow. Ow, that does so much damage. Pingling. I don't think you're going to save me. Oh. Oh, it was like refreshing them. Oh, shit, okay. I thought it wasn't using. Fuck, where was I going? This way? Maybe we sh Oh, I wanted to repair, didn't I? Okay, so it turns out... Uh, if we're caught unawares... He is a big bad worm. That is certainly not our friend. What is going on with those, like, trees or something? They've got, like, weird, like, ice rims. Are they? Oh, go, 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 go. Shit. Shit. Don't hit my bike. I think you hit my bike. Can you be cool? Oh, no. I think you're a fool who doesn't know how to how to tussle with the best of them. Shit. Oh god! Sticky keys! Fuck you! Who has ever wanted sticky keys in their life? I was just like hammering the boost button. God, sticky keys. Just garbage. Luckily we managed to get into a pseudo safe zone. What the hell? Oh, that is a big spine. Are you dead? Oh, you look kind of dead. Nice one. Okay, let's just like nestle in your meat. Uh, I'm curious about what an ice worm do. Ice worm. Extremely large and dangerous leviathan, roughly 95 meters long, with a thick plated exoskeleton that burrows through the ice shelves with minimal resistance. Plating. The ice worm is covered in thick exoskeleton, with backwards facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create treads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows. Similar to tire treads. The anterior of the ice worm is covered in a thick skin that doesn't require plating. 
superheated horn. The ice worm, uh, the horn of the ice worm is the thickest part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkaline metals that react violently with water, creating an exothermic chemical reaction. As the ice worm burrows, small microscopic grooves continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. Behavior. The ice worm is an ambush predator. It relies on sounds traveling through ice to alert it to potential prey. It then lunges through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can be temporarily distracted with the use of sonic devices. Gotta go fast. Aggressive and lethal. Avoid. You know what? I kind of agree. Um, would you eat me? No. We'd be friends. Me and Wormy. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this thing doesn't have a skeleton. Oh, well. Well, I guess. <laughs> I guess not. Ice one bones. Scans of ice one bones show that they have a surprising degree of flexation in them. This likely allows the bones to compress inwards when the ice worm is burrowing. A, totally a total rigidity in the bone structure might result in deformation of the skeletal structure over time. There is evidence of muscle insertions that would manipulate the compression and decompression of the ice worm's long ribcage. The ice worm bones appear to be relatively intact. It seems that other large land predators in the region tend to leave the worm carcass alone after death. Oh... Okay, maybe they've got like a toxin or something in them. Like, um... Is it like some centipedes? Are like, uh, super, super toxic to eat. And so other bugs, other bugs don't eat them. Right, it's going to night time. Oh, alien tech. That is a good sign. And a passage. Like through here. Uh... Okay, we're fine. Oh, does it just like just loop around? The answer is no. That's where we're going. I hope. The door might be locked. If I need another Enjon cube, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, I don't see an obvious Enjon cube entry. Oh! We're allowed in. Okay. That's nice. Green crystals. How you doing, bud? <gasps> Enjon cube. Alan, you got anything to say? What is that? Oh, is that like an arm? Is he a crab man? Architect ah, tissue. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. But <laughs> Okay, so... It used to happen. They used to get hooves instead of eyelashes, which... God, that's not... That's no, no way to live. Look at that tissue. Wow, we can already make that. Okay. Right. Do we just try and get the hell out of here? Let's have some, um... Snacks. Maybe there's more stuff to explore and see. Oh. But... We're getting out of here. Enjoy getting eaten, nerd. Um, if we need to go... Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. What's going on here? Do you have any good stuff for me? Thumper batteries. Speaking on behalf of my entire mining crew, day in day out we risk our lives in this cursed territory. We signed off for this mission. We were not told about the worms. 
We lost a solid 50 of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency, sh emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to be retiring after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? Uh, yeah, me. These thumpers that the company developed are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job at distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Oh, God. Okay, it's like the, um... Thumper. New blueprint synthesized. Uh, just like in Half-Life 2, there were the thumpers. Remember? To stop you getting attacked by the sand lions. Magnetite thing. Well, you just, like, put it down. Worms, worms go and attack that. Or don't attack. Okay, well, it's good, good we found out about that now. Okay, so, ice fields. That was an adventure. That was a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, you go there. I'll see you later. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna go and see what the supply cache is all about, and then get back to base and uh, build build some stuff. Build a few more things. We'll go and do with a big like titanium pickup, and then I think we can actually like kind of pimp pimp the base pretty good. Oh, there's the supply cache. Okay, there's not a ton of stuff here. Meds? Oh. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. Oh. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> there's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Okay, I feel like I was probably supposed to be here earlier. Uh, I think we came in this area before. Uh, oh, we're full. Great. Just in time. Uh, and we will head on back. Uh, it feels good to be back at the base. Oh, it feels real good, actually. After, you know, going through some moments of panic. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, we need to power you up at some point, but we can worry about that later on. Thank you so much, computer. Oh, we made it. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I think Tom and I are best friends now. I'm glad he didn't ask where I found Rock. I found it inside my dead brother. I think he ate it. Oh well. Like and subscribe. Bye.